Hi, bald. Uh, listen, I'm bald, and that's okay, but I happen to have friends that I love and care about who have full heads of long, luscious, thick, healthy hair. But guess what? That hair gets pretty toe-up nasty from time to time. And what do I suggest that they do? No, not shave it off and make it into a wig so that I can wear it, but use the Way hair care system. Now, basically, the Way Detox Shampoo, the way it works, is it takes all your crappy hair and turns it into new wonderful hair. Something to do with science, I'm not really sure. But the gist is, once a week, to neutralize product buildup, oil, dirt, and hard water from your hair and scalp, you can use it. It doesn't strip away the moisture. And there's a combination of apple cider vinegar and keratin, which exfoliates and balances your scalp. Plus, it smooths the frizz out and creates a lustrous shine. Lustrous movie shine. Way was created by celebrity hairstylist Jen Atkin to create the first socially connected hair care brand. So you can explore their full collection of cruelty, sulfate, and paraben-free hair care body and fragrance products at Way. When you're ready to undo some damage, hit the reset button with the Way Detox Shampoo. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com and use code BALD to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com, code BALD. Ciao, be. Ciao, be. Lo come stai? Welcome to another exciting edition of About the Debate. The Bald the Debate. You ever been to Italy? No. Italy? Never. Never. Italy? No. Italy? Also, no. 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 Is that a real place? <laughs> it's a restaurant called Italy. Which, listen, you gotta give it up for the branding. Authentic Italiano Cuisine. Yeah. yeah. There's this fierce episode of The Office where Michael goes to New York and he's like, I try to get an authentic New York slice. And it shows him in Sabaro. Well, I mean, <laughs> are you, do you care about that stuff? Do about you... Sabaro? Deeply. <laughs> when I worked at the mall, oh my God, those pi- <sighs> the pizza, the baked ziti. No, not pasta at the mall. Yeah, oh, no honey. pasta at the mall. Honey, it pa- comes from a freeze. Noodles that were cooked yesterday. Yeah, yeah I yeah. live. Well, noodles that were not only cooked yesterday, but fifty miles away. Well, shipped in. It's but then the digestive Straight process has Hinkley. already started. <laughs> yeah. Straight from Hinkley. Yeah. Oh my god! Who had that linguine shipped in uh, right from Hinkley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who had her? Who had her cervix removed? Who was also twelve? You want their diseases? Oh my god, Erin Bracavincellini. She could be the, the the comeback, but for mall Italian food. She's exactly Aaron Brockovich with an Italian mustache and yeah. a mall outfit. Oh, where is the producer money? They're called they boobs, the Ed. <laughs> when I was on Drag Race All-Stars, oh. I had to do Sharon Frockovich. Oh, that's right. And I yeah, had that's never right. seen the movie and I had to I'll watch it. I had to watch it. They let you watch it? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Wait, well, they when, made us when watch, did you let you watch? It was when? Uh, my best drag friends, squirrel friends, bridesmaids, wedding party. It was like a, a parody what? of an Oscar movie. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So we had to watch The Help. I don't know if I saw this. The Queen. Oh. Uh, Black Swan. La La Land. What? When? Oh, we had to watch when all these watch Oscar all these? movies the weekend before. So oh I had to watch like God. six Oscar well, movies of the weekend. The Queen. Nothing else to do. Oh, my God. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. Whatever. Yeah. Mary. Anybody got time talk. for that? Anybody got time for that? Nobody has Bingo. time for that. Dino DNA. <laughs> what you, what? I would sooner watch a mega what? clip of them removing d- Dino DNA from mosquito and amber. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do you want to tell the audience about your biking? Oh my god, I do. Sorry, um, dear audience, I am sweating the house down boots for Saji realness because I am the proud. New owner of an electric bike. Give it up, Chit. Electric bike. Which I have to tell you, I was a little, perhaps uh, rightly so, cautious of uh, of the maiden voyage, which was yesterday, because the thing is like 4,000 pounds. Wait a minute. That like, thing's been sitting in your house for It's been weeks. sitting in my house. I've been kissing it and dusting it. I yeah. know, but every time I've come over and you go, yeah. it's fierce. And you hadn't ridden it yet? No. I have ridden it, a version of it, before. That's what oh. prompted me to buy the bike. Um, and, uh, oh. And I, uh, so I went to Jason's to my trainer's house yesterday, mm-hmm. got lost because I was vibing. Love it. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to listen to, um, headphones on the first trip because what if I get, what if I die? You yeah. know what I mean? And I have AirPods in. I feel mm-hmm. like that could be bad. Are you kidding? So I was coming from David's this morning and I go, can you give me a ride home? He goes, I have a meeting. I said, at noon. I said, I have a meeting at 1130. He goes, 
yeah, but I have to get ready for my meeting. I said, what okay, well, I guess I'll get on a bird scooter. And when the talent for your TV show dies, we'll see how good that meeting is. And then he gave me a ride. <sighs> Well, see, by every way, but yeah, whatever means necessary. Do you do you really have to bully him into giving you a ride home? Not always. I mean, it is like we've been dating five years. Oh, so it, and it, I have to wake up and go, still, can you drive yeah. me home? Yeah. And then the killer is he'll be like, no. And then I know as soon as I leave, he drives to go get coffee. So What's I'm like, the problem. It's just in Hollywood. I, I know. I'm 11 minutes down the road. But that's good, though, because you have to keep some tension. Yeah. You know what I mean? He if also used to everything. pick me up from the airport. So the veneer has rubbed off. He picked you up from the airport? He used to for like years. Oh, Mary, you fuck that ride. I would leave you in the dust. His karma is way built up. Oh, so the he's, airport? He's in the deficit now. Not only that, he, he could, could start like, hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hits me, but he picks me up from the airport. Honestly, a completely even Yeah, tr- yeah. I mean, if he hits you for your whole year, you had it coming. Don't say, Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Dugan. Get, okay, wait, wait, wait. Get you a my... man who can do both. Yeah. Meaning, pick you up, pick you up the from the airport and beat the shit, and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> wait, he hit me, but it felt like a kiss because he left me at the airport. Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a country song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He hit me every day, but it felt like a kiss because he dropped me, me off at, at the airport <laughs> at the Delta <laughs> Terminal Delta One. <laughs> Delta oh. One. Let's talk about it. Let's I talk love... about Delta One. No, no, no. Let's talk about Emirates. Emirates. Let's talk about that shower in the air. Mary, I flew Emirates do from it? Dubai once. Yeah. With Fina Barbatal yep. and Same. Brandon. Right, Brandon? Same. No, it was David Silver. Okay. It was David. Did, Did he David shower? Did he shower in he the air? He didn't shower, but there's a nice club, you know? There's yes. like a nightclub yes. on the plane. Yeah, there's a nightclub. And Fina and David, the whole flight, vibing in the nightclub. Not drinking, but... Oh. Just vibing. Feeling it was, um, you know, the Feeling remix of Dusty Springfield Spooky playing was loungy. They were just like, <laughs> hors d'oeuvres. But I also love on Virgin Foods. Atlantic, they have that, um, Virgin Atlantic, you know how it's like the cool, air, yeah. like the, the marketing? I know what you mean. All yeah. the flight attendants look like Kylie Minogue yeah, or Virgin yeah. Australia. They all have the bun here. Oh yeah, yeah. They have the low bun. The chic low yeah. bun with the scarf. And painted, Mary. Painted. The amount painted. of makeup. Yeah. They, they came from their shift at Sephora. I I know. I feel like ugh. double stack lashes. Do you think it's necessary? Would you enforce that it. as the CEO? I feel safer. You do. Oh, because competent people who are who are prepared. Yes, that's a really good point. Actually, do you want the flight attendant who looks Looking like Tom Hanks in Castaway with uh, clutching a, a, a sock of volleyball? I, I guess you're. I see your point. However, would you let somebody work without a full face of makeup? No. <laughs> I think that presentation does matter. And if you're yes. making people feel safe. Yeah. And let's be it honest. matters more. A plane is a bus in the sky. It's a hotel in the sky. The flight attendants looking wonderful is one of the only ways to elevate the experience. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Men I mean, and women. This isn't a female. Men should have well, a clean we, haircut. You know, shaven, look good. Makeup though? If you have like a whitehead pimple, I think you should put some makeup on it. Or put a bandaid on it. Yeah. Or draw. Or do like. Um, a mole? No, like a drawn on black heart. Like very Marie Antoinette. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or a sticker. A stick- you, or a face tattoo sticker. <laughs> a teardrop, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Would you allow face tattoos uh, on your airline? Absolutely. Were- really? I think, I mean, the, the discrimination of against tattoos needs to stop. Okay, fair. What about always tired under the eye? That's more of a crime to me than tattoos. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have an issue with the um, blatant... Uh, Gang identifying yeah. paraphernalia the on your gang neck. Gang identified uh, self mutilation. Yeah, but your eyes look tired. Yeah, <laughs> and your lips are chapped. <laughs> the tattoo on your yeah. forehead that says "I killed someone." No issue. Not a sh- yeah. No the issue. The fact that you have bags and uh, and red eyes. Yeah, gotta go. Or like we have a friend who has a neon pink tattoo that says "cunt." Oh, is that? Amber? And yeah, where, I have where, no issue. Where is with it that. on her body though? It's on her leg. Oh yeah. So I mean, in a no, flight, I yeah. think she would have hosiery. Yes, she would have hosiery. She also has I um she has a, a thing that says slut in Russian that I encouraged her to get. Love that. Yeah. I like like Pride Month on de- not Pride Month. Uh Hi Gay. <laughs> Breast Cancer <laughs> Awareness Month, the flight attendants on Delta wear pink. Which okay. I love. Yeah, that's great. But I think Susan G. Komen's up to something. She's trying to take pink away from me. I think she's trying to I think that she's trying to like build an empire of pink that has nothing to do with women's boobs. But more on that later. You should have to get up pretty early to beat me at the pink game. You should be Susan G. Komen for Halloween. Maybe I am. <laughs> Honestly, it would probably get me in less trouble than some of my past costumes. That is that is true. 
I don't know about you, but I am dying to get back into the gym. It's been so long, I'm starting to miss the little things. Like, you know, do you know what I would give to wipe someone else's sweat off the machines right now? Or to hear my trainer shout at me or to get another rep in? Vaccination is the most effective way to help prevent COVID-19 and get back to the good times. Find a COVID-19 vaccine location near you at vaccines.gov. That's V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S dot gov. Hi, guys. I want to talk to you about Green Chef, one of our sponsors. They're an incredible food delivery service that lets you choose from a wide array of easy-to-follow recipes that are perfect for keto, paleo, and plant-powered diets, or even if you just want to eat in a more balanced way. Green Chef's expert chefs design flavorful recipes that go way beyond ordinary for a diverse array of meal plans and plenty of options to choose from each week. Personally, what I love about Green Chef is that not only does it allow me to feel like I'm making the appropriate baby baby steps towards actually cooking and being an adult human being, uh, it allows me to experiment with a vegetable, a vegetable, a vegetable that I, I don't think I've had a vegetable in about six months. Well, not since Green Chef. So thank you for that. Everything's handpicked featuring organic veggies and high quality proteins delivered to your door, pre-measured and mostly prepped in insulated packing. I'm really excited about this next meal, the almond crusted barramundi. It has kale with sweet potatoes, hard boiled eggs and sun dried tomatoes. It looks Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. So go to greenchef.com slash bald100 and use code bald100 to get $100 off, including free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash bald100 and use code bald100 to get $100 off, including free shipping. Green Chef, baby, the number one meal kit for eating well. Wait, we have to decide about a, a Halloween costume. Oh, gosh. Well, that's right. Let's we do it right now. I don't know if it's been announced, but. What? Our Halloween gigs. Oh, yeah. I'm not even talking about that, though. I'm talking about, um, uh, we're, f- we're doing the Halloween oh, episode. Oh, we have to do the Halloween. Uh, and I don't know what to be. I Mary, have no idea. Do you think I, I no have idea. a suit? Do you think I have a closet full of fun, spooky looks? Well, it's not spooky, but fun. Maybe we could do like an homage to. I was going to wear an orange swimsuit and put pumpkin face on it, like two triangles, a nose and a mouth. So sexy. Sexy pumpkin sexy lady. Pumpkin lady. <laughs> And then green eyes shut up with the stem. Oh, oh my god! But it's like the girls are like. So I want to look totally different. Um, I want to look really. I want to go like really out of the box. But I have to be exactly like me. And um, so I went into like not crazy makeup, but super yeah. dramatic, but also really simple. Yeah. And like huge lashes are teeny. I don't want to look like I have makeup on. Okay, can I see a reference photo? And they pull out Megan Fox on a red carpet. I'm like, <laughs> not Megan Fox, fucking Dame Edna. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to look like a drag queen, but I want top and bottom lashes. Yeah. That aren't long. You know really what? Really long. <laughs> There's no crime in having a vision. There's crime in not being self forthcoming about what that vision yeah, is. Yeah, let's be honest about what you really want to do. You just want to look sexy and slightly more done up than you are right now. Yes. Can you just sit down on the chair and say, I know it's Halloween. Yeah. I just want to look really hot. Yeah, there you Give go. Give me like a porn eye yes. and like a sexy lip. But they don't even want that. Like they want, I want to be like a crazy, gross, kooky monster thing. So I guess maybe just blush. <laughs> They, yeah, they do that. I, I'm doing, we're going to a Hollywood, like, you know. Okay. Either want, give me Heidi Klum. Yeah. Oh. Or give me like, you oh, know. Or the bargain Elwoods. basement bin. Yeah. Like five minutes out the door. Oh, it's Halloween. Quick. You know. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I, I Do you have a favorite uh, Halloween costume you've done? I don't even remember what they are. I know last year was like a priest cardinal something. It's got to be the vampire witch from the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. the eyeball. Yeah, the eyeball. Yeah, that was great. That was a good year for me, too. What else? Do you always do sexy? Can't help it. (laughs) No matter what I try. No matter what I do. I I, I walk on a set, and I think I look spooky, and then I trip over everyone's huge Huge cops. (laughs) They're just jutting out of the wall. Penis. Everywhere I look, there's a penis. Where did all these hard cops come from? I turn to Pete. I go, we've talked about this. And Could the veins, put the veins. Your hard cock. You, it's purple. Trip on it. Can you at least take off the cock ring oh, on set? Ass. Fuck my ass. I love it. What do you think about people wearing cock rings during the day when it's not sex? Okay. Personally, I am not a fan of cock rings in general. Me neither. I, in fact, they turn me off. Like they actively take me out of the sexual experience. Yeah, same. What about you, Brandon? What is about it? Brandon, you like the cock ring? Oh, he passed. <laughs> Brandon has passed. <laughs> well, you know what he does when we're doing stuff like this? He'll go in my closet and he'll close the door and he'll sit in there so he doesn't disturb the sound. He'll take phone calls. So he's in the clo- he's in my closet on he's the like, floor. 
Don't it literally um, a quiet place. Three. A quiet. <laughs> Because he knows I'll walk in there like, we're filming. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's the assistant you need, mama. I'll say that I've, I've seen a cock with a cock ring. <laughs> what? I've seen a cock with a cock ring. A cock? Why am I saying it like that? A cock. I d- I've seen a cock. <laughs> I don't like the word used casually. Like, because we don't really do that in America, I feel like. It's also just, it's always sexualized. It's porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I see? Show me your Show cock. me your cock. Show me your big fat. Well, you know on Pornhub, they how like dick. The, they add on Pornhub will always be some girl fingering herself, being like, "You want to show me your cock?" She always, always that word. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not dick because dick is too playful and yeah, K A W K cock. Cock. Show me your penis. I guess it's the alternative is like the Ill- show me your cock. Hey, hey, hey excuse me. Um, I like your cock. Hey, br- hey, um, hey, guy, will you show me your cock <laughs> real quick? So big. God, the head. That's the purple, huh? Do you say that in the bed, sexy times? It's cock, the word cock, or do you say dick? Uh, or dick, dick. Put Co- that cock is a little. Who am I pretending to be? Rebecca Moore. Right. Yeah. So my Anderson. Sophie Anderson is not <laughs> convincing. <laughs> You know, like when I'm sucking dick and I try to, and I do that thing in porn where girls pull their hair back and there's nothing there. There's nothing there. You're yeah. Just like, I'm just, oh, she's good. Then I'm she's doing a, move. a moment. Yeah. You're doing like um, a pitcher's thing, that code that like, boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sophie Anderson and Rebecca Moore as Halloween costumes. Ooh. Kind I of mean, expensive. No, 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 no. You get balloons, right? <laughs> and then well, we you have just press plates. You're, um, yeah, but you need big. You need. You don't think ours are big enough? I know I don't think yours are big enough for Sophie's. Do you know how big hers are? But I have the Dolly Parton ones. Are which they which were bigger? Are they really big? I mean, they have to be huge. They're big. They're not probably as, they're not Jimbo. Okay. I mean, they do we have to do Jimbo? Jimbo? Yeah. I mean, oh, she, wow. Why did she invent or sorry, when did she invent breasts? Jimbo? Yeah. Did you know that if you if you wear a a, a breastplate online, you are have to pay homage to the the fact that Jimbo invented boobs. Oh, James Mansfield. Anytime I wear a breastplate, James that? Mansfield. What is that? Why do people feel compelled to do that? Because their um, only reference and scope of drag is a television program. Yes. Talking to you. But they don't realize. But you don't realize. You don't smell that? That shit in your mouth? People were wearing titty plates since before any of us were born. Mary, uh, t- yeah. Tang Dynasty. Tang I would say Dynasty. that the original titty plate, Eve... Thank from you. the Bible, yeah. Excuse me. Maybe look at uh, look a uh, pick a book up. You fucking cock, 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 sucking dick and cock. Okay, so I'm not gonna die in this bike. I'm well, not gonna die in this bike. Are you, are you wearing the helmet. I'm wearing the helmet. I have the helmet over the hat, which makes me look a bit prepared. Okay, <laughs> for anything. <laughs> yeah. You know what though? Sun no, in your eyes. Seriously, safer. I have um glasses, but I mean the brim. Yes, safer, safer. Um, I got my little SPF. I got my glasses, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm worried because the people in LA are really, they're ornery. You're pushing 40 on an electric bike. We're all worried. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. The traffic's not the issue here. It's the red flag. It's you're on a else. <laughs> you know what you're one step from? One of those fuckers who has those bikes where you sit the, down. Oh my God. With a, um, with a little um, flag. Yeah. With a flag. In some of my favorite like um, stickers. stickers. Oh, stickers. On the back. And yeah. also not headphones. Your own radio. My own radio. I see a bad moon rising. <laughs> my own radio with giant headphones corded into it. Oh. On my lap. Trying to uh-huh. change the thingy, you know what I mean? Do the dial. And then there's a sticker on the back that says, um, how's my driving? Call 1-900. Suck dick and cock. suck my ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> suck on my dick. If you ever got a car, would you get a vanity plate? I would not get Great drag name. Vanity. Oh, yeah. Vanity, vanity plate. plate. What is her last name? Vanity Fair? Oh, don't know. It's, it's Friday. The weekend. weekend. The, the real May comes, comes alive. alive. I think it's the her v- Fair. Vanity that makes Fair. sense. Yeah. Great name. Um, such a good name. Such a good face. Um, do you have you seen the cover of Courtney Axe book? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Courtney Axe book called Caught in the Act, which yeah. I guess Incredible. you coached her into that. I did, yeah. She wanted to do uh, she wanted to name it Inflagrante Delicto. Are you which, lying? No. I mean it's I love that, but mama, this ain't Courtney, clue. we're selling books. This ain't clue. Yeah. I mean Mary, this is, yeah. This, this isn't court intro to Latin <laughs> yeah. at Cornell. We're not a banister in the 1830s. And who's buying yeah. this? Yeah. I learned something new. What? A non-binary, people say NB. I E-N-B-Y. just learned that too. I, uh, E-N-B-Y. And I learned that the other day and I was like, I feel real stupid. 
I, you know what's stupid? I said, what is, and then I, as soon as I said it, I went, oh, Mary, I didn't get it. I understand. I had to look it up. And I had, even after having looked it up, I was still a bit confused. And then Andrew's like, oh, it's envy. But that's what's great about being open-minded. We're always learning. And we're always growing. Growing. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I feel very fortunate that I'm a cis male because I'm, imagine, and we're not talking about imagine how tired we are. <laughs> having to explain to people, if you're non-binary, <sighs> do you have to explain that to people every other week? Or do you just go, Mary, look it up and then walk yeah, away? I think like there's a, I mean, I th- I mean, think about like the time you've had to explain to customs what you do for work. Oh my God. You know that, what I mean? It's probably on Imagine that Imagine that every day. And so you just, it, it depends on your energy level. Depends do on I want to do the heavy interest. lifting for someone? Depends on how they look, where they have a hard cock right in front of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or a full, a full, full pussy. <laughs> I was trying to think of the, an, an gorge, an gorge wet pussy, an gorge wet clit. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, tumescent clitoris is a hard cock is the equivalent of wet pussy. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, in colloquialism, hard cock would be like a pulsing clit. No, because if you're turned pussy. on, yeah. I'm hard. Yes, if you turn on is with a wet. With, with a vagina, wet. As a woman, a person with a vagina, a person with a wet. vagina, wet. And then we're clearing it up for people. Uh, yeah, listen. Also, the fact that there's so much mystery still surrounding the 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 female, or let's just say vagina, yeah, the vulva and the clitoris and all that stuff. It's kind of dazzling. Sometimes I worry that I'm a gay person and I still know more about it than straight men must. Right? Well, I they mean, also don't ask. Straight men are probably like, they don't ask, but they go down. They explore. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they have the experience. They dive into the, the cave. But sure. a lot of people probably s- still think that, a, that you piss out of the, the pussy. They do, don't they? My sister had her baby. I just have to tell you this because I asked her, I said, I, I had, you know, I've never been this close to someone who's been pregnant where I can ask anything, anything, anything. I mean, I used Would to change her diaper. So like, I know I've, you know, oh wow. so I know her body yeah, at yeah, least yeah. as a child. So she we're can. very, and she's always been very open about sex with me and everything. And I go, I gotta ask you, what, 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 how do you feel? She's like, it was the worst pain ever. And she oh. had, a, she had a, um, the dural. Yeah. And it still was horrible. Yeah. She was like, I don't think I could do it again. Yeah. She's like, I'm so proud. She's like, I didn't put my pants. Good. My Did she get so ripped funny. apart? She's like, I didn't put my pants. Oh, <laughs> she was like, so ex- like, and what? She's like, I didn't put my pants and what, bitch? Like, she was so excited. <laughs> the TikTok dance for that, I'm sure, is pretty fierce. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Wait, what did, what but then I said, how's your, she said, she said, I hope she doesn't mind I'm saying this, whatever. She was like, I did tear a little, but yeah. I guess that's normal. Uh, and I go, how bad? I said, are you going to be walking tomorrow or is your pussy hit the ground like a wet Band-Aid? And she was like, not that. And I was like, okay, good. <laughs> like a wet sack of grapes. Yeah. Just. <laughs> but she did it. It's just so weird to think about. Um, no. I remember when my sister was a baby. So the baby's having a baby. Yeah. I don't know why that's blown my mind. And but then like, that baby might grow up to one day. Have a baby. Have a baby. What, what's the, was it Odelia? Odina. Or? Odina. Okay. Odina. Full Odina. head of hair. It's four inches long. More probably. hair than I've ever had. Are you Born, serious? Yes. So much hair. Wow. She's Native American. That's father's African American. Hair is lit, perfect, huge. flawless. Wow, not relatable content no. on this channel. Hairline starts one half inch <laughs> above the eyebrow. Pretty much, <laughs> like Damn. I saw. A, I'm like, you're this. This person's two years old and came out two years old. Two days old. Two days old. This person's two days old and came out with a full weave. Yeah, <laughs> a yaki bundles, mama. Yes. Six yaki bundles. Uh, Myrtle Virgin Snow. Remy. Virgin <laughs> Remy Brazilian. <laughs> Brazilian bundles. bundles. Get those bundles. You can't bundle that baby up quick enough. It's that wild. baby came out bundled. Wow. Bundled. I'm having babies. Are right, she going to do the nails? You know, you got to do the ears first. You got to get the ears pierced now. Well, we immediately talked about. She's my sister's been on the YouTube channel. Very girly girl okay. as it is. And we were already like, we got to get the wig. Acrylics, lashes. Let's do it. Like yeah. you, you know. should do all. You should um get Latisse <laughs> now because I mean, oh, Mama, when she cr- turns thirteen, yes! it's gonna be a wrap. And then you do the uh, acrylics, yeah, on those baby fingers because she ain't touching nothing. I also have a hard time <laughs> understanding. Pregnancy makes sense. Uh-huh. There's a baby, makes sense. Uh-huh. It's I just not to be ignorant. That baby was in that person. Wait, wait. That baby was in that person. I've never met the baby because it's three days old. Yeah. But I've also sat this close to her seven months pregnant. So I guess I've been a foot from the baby. Does that mean, you know, that's Absolutely. the same yeah. body. You, I don't mean to be ignorant, but I'm gay. I don't think about having babies. So I'm just like, what? 
can you think about having something in your body that's a living? I mean, you know, I wish not against your will. Well, <laughs> I've got a lot of things my alive in me. Cum. Yeah, my <laughs> cock. What about several hundred million sperm? Your dad's cummies. We're taking a break. <laughs> Hi guys, I'd like to talk to you about Canva Pro. You see, Canva Pro is the easy to use design platform that has everything you need to design like a professional. Whether you're a professional designer or just getting started, Canva Pro can help boost you and your team's productivity and creativity. It's quick, it's easy and affordable. It's the only way to design whatever you need. No matter what you're creating and sharing, Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million photos, videos, audios, and graphics. Plus, Canva Pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up the creative process. You get all of this and more in just one Canva Pro subscription. My favorite Canva, I mean, listen, my favorite Canva Pro feature, I've said it once and I've said it a million times, is the, the quick background fix tool because, yeah, if I admit it to you how many times I need to take a picture of me in nature and turn it into a picture of me in some post-apocalyptic wasteland with the severed head of a family member. It's just, let's just say Canva Pro has saved me countless hours and lots of money. And there's no, there's no idea too big or too small for Canva Pro. Uh, personally, I know a lot of you out there are, you know, incredibly high skill level, talented designers. Either you, others, you know, you have, you don't know how to turn a computer on. Okay. And that's okay. No shame. No, no shame. But Canva Pro has got you covered, all of you covered. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash bald to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash bald. Canva.me slash bald. And cummies. we're back. Cummies. Cum daddy's cummies. cummies. Daddy's cummies. What about daddy's cummies? Your life is about to change forever. <laughs> what? Zero is that something conversion. you say during sex? Not me. Not me, Mary. Oh, zero, zero conversion. conversion. Yeah. That's the, this is the act of uh, passing on a, a virus such as HIV to a person who's there willingly. Willingly or not to accept it. Well, sometimes also ceremoniously. Some, I mean, I'm not, I'm, yeah. we're not condoning it. We're just talking about no, it. No, no, no. Yeah. But some people, it's like a... Today's the day. Today's the day. I'll get health care. Do you know what I mean? Today's the today's the day. I'll be eligible for housing. <laughs> I don't. There, yes, I don't. You know what I, mean? I don't understand it. I think the only way to, to to grasp it and move on is to say one of those like colloquialisms, like "Well, takes all tops." Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't really understand it, but takes all kinds. Yeah. I also Some don't have like tattoos. peanut butter. I also Others like to catch AIDS. <laughs> Do you remember what I do? You remember what, we're on we're on some kind of press tour where I said, you know, you can have chili or chili with noodles, and I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> it was it was um it was the we were doing press for uh and yeah you said I, I still don't I I am so curious about that moment. That I don't know really what I was moment. saying. You can have chili or you can have it with noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying for sound bites. They're not always successful. You can have one lunch or you could have six or seven. <laughs> Go to five or six stores, yeah, or you could go just to one. one. Yeah. Ta let's, can we talk about the elephant in the room, which is this fat fucking air conditioner? This cock. hot, this fucking sexy, fat, thick, viscous gel. Yeah. Hot, snappy, fucking freezing cold air. I am she getting got you together. Tentacle porn she got you together. Sexualized yeah. by this air conditioning. Yeah. I want to like. That's the duct or the, the oh, vent. It's one of many. You know, you know, you know what I want to do. I'm going to get on a ladder. <laughs> I want to suction cut my asshole to that fucking grate and then just suck up all that cold air. It's suck it so all sickening. <laughs> it's so sickening. It's fabulous. They'd be like, yeah. how did Trixie die? That idiot mm. plugged in 12 window units and didn't ventilate the room and died. Carbon monoxide. Yeah. And she loved every she, minute of it. She, <laughs> she died, died doing, doing what, what she loved. loved. <laughs> I love air conditioning. I got to tell you, the mix of being a Californian now and a drag queen. Oh, yeah. It's, air it's, conditioning matters to me more than the company I keep. Oh, Mary. It starts air conditioning, then air, then food, water, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Oh, I got to say something. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I got to tell you something. I went to a makeup event last night. Okay. ColourPop launched Did a power drag. Uh-huh. Oh. Powerpuff a girl collection with ColourPop. And I was already in drag okay. filming with Eureka. So I said, I'll just, it's down the street. I'll go. I'll, 
I'll take a lap, so nice have a free you. drink, come home. And I love color pop. And you get goodies, them. right? Got goodies, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I go there, and who's there but Miss Gina Gum? <laughs> love it. She's on the patio. What is she it's doing? On the, but I have to tell you, it's a makeup event at 5.30 p.m., on a patio in the summer in Los Angeles. Oh no, no. So no, everybody's there in makeup no, looks and no, wigs and melting, we're like <sighs> melting, melting, melting. So I love yeah. color pop, but in, indoor next time, please. Yeah. But there's free drinks, which I love. Yeah. And then Miss Gina Gum comes up and it's a power puff event. She's in a blue, I mean, suggestion like, of a dress. <laughs> Suge- a swatch s- of scraps fabric. tied together by you know <laughs> two pinwheels and some floss yeah. and she comes up and she's Damn. in two pigtails and she goes tricks because you know we go way back like pre-drag race she goes tricks that's right you do yeah and we were talking about management we we're talking about how a lot of the newer girls don't have managers yeah and a lot of the um we're good ones yeah yeah and she goes at this point tricks the dolls are the dolls <laughs> Which I think means like I don't it's, I don't know yeah. what she meant, but I get you what don't she know, meant. I, I do, I do. It's like the the um, it's it's now the, you're either a doll now or you're never going to be a doll. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like that's the dolls it. are the, the dolls. dolls. Yeah, and then she doesn't drink, so she so but but they're serving alcoholic yeah. drinks with boba. Oh, so, so she goes. She goes. Is that boba? boba? And she goes and gets a non-alcoholic boba and kills it. And I was like, "How's the boba?" She was like. It's good. Yeah, it's and she's good. in the cutest little purse, an acrylic bag that has nothing but um, a selfie light in it. <laughs> a purse with a selfie light. Just Gia is everything <sighs> you want her to be. Oh uh, yeah, when she came to my birthday party, she had her own like um, photo shoot uh-huh. right by the DJ booth, and she was like, "I latex. I, do, I mean, latex done, uh, uh, flawless, and then just tuned out the whole room. You know, it was like I love that. I love that kind of love like it. that." Um, that power, I could never do that. Always through self conscious, but she just does like, oh no no, yeah, I it's don't fierce. That. Yeah. She's so then she uh, she did a couple other things which <laughs> I love. She goes the, um, dolls. the dolls, the dolls. At this point, the dolls are the dolls. So then she's going to the pretty young, uh, not pretty young thing, pretty. Uh, what's that company? Pretty, pretty Little Things? Pretty Little Things. She's going to that event afterward, mm-hmm. and so she's downstairs. We're in downstairs in the lobby, and we're waiting for the um, the car. Okay. And she's going. She's taking selfies. She's got the people are walking by trying to get in the restaurant, and she's stopping oh, she, traffic yeah. to like <laughs> take pictures. And yeah. then the girl at the reception goes, "I'm really sorry. I, my man, my manager's here, so I'm probably gonna have to ask you guys t- to leave." And I couldn't help but think, by the way, transphobia. Um, just because she's genophobia. dressed in genophobia, th- that too. Just because yeah. she's dressed provocatively Whatever, yeah. and taking photos doesn't mean she's doesn't mean she's a whore. Exactly. Doesn't mean she's a whore. Hello, I was just like. And and then G and then G goes, it's okay, doll. I've been kicked out of places before. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lee, I mean, I just loved it. She's, I loved it. I mean, I, unshakable. And then, unflappable. But, but then get into this. I go, G, you look. She looked gorgeous, of course. I go, you look amazing. Uh-huh. She goes, she goes, doll. I came here yesterday thinking the event was yesterday. I read the flyer to RSVP yesterday, and so I came in this look. She yes, did a dry she run. She came in and no one was there. And she was like, I'm here for the makeup event. And they were like, what? <laughs> so she's there in like, well, basically. That's fierce though. A club dress and full <laughs> drag makeup. And they were like, what are you here we're for? We're not doing that. <laughs> that's, I mean, think about like the girls, the dolls, usually late. That's a day early. A day early. That's pretty fierce. She's more punctual, honestly. Yeah. Did a dry run. <laughs> I know. I just thought it was so funny. Cause I'm like, and you know what, Gia, that's why you don't work in scheduling. And that's yes. okay. Yeah. Well, that's why we don't have Gina Gum in logistics. We have her on the main stage. <laughs> I know. My I love Gina Gum because every time I see her, I get some kind of little story like that little nugget. A nugget or like a a, a really perfect poetic encapsulation of like It's like a, a tableau. Lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Like a theater. She, yeah. Like it's, the, she doesn't really want to break the fourth wall. There, I don't think there's any walls <laughs> in the Gina Gum experience. It's a wallless venture. <laughs> and then she goes, so tricks. <laughs> How can the doll get on the PR list? <laughs> Wait, for your makeup yes. company? And I said, well, you just got on it, sis. Yeah. You just <laughs> cornered me at the party and, you know, reminded me. Shame me. Yes. Yeah. That's so funny. I mean, she's like, I, I think that she sort of lives her life as if it's always being videotaped. Does yeah. that make sense? You yeah, know? of course. And even in private little moments like that, often like you'll find these like things where like, is, is there a camera here? Because this is gold. Do you want me to hit the thingy? Uh, yeah, start that and stop it again. Should be going. It's going. Okay, cool. I think we lost you for a couple of minutes. Okay. Nobody be mad. Whatever. It's, it's probably we'll not put a in good a picture story. of a pumpkin. Love uh, it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I like people know the milk and cookies thing. I, it, tell, tell again. Please. Unprovoked. We were in a um a cab in Brazil, 
And just me, her, and Laganja just going, God knows where, probably get lunch. And um, she just turns to me. She says, Katya, do you believe in milk and cookies? <laughs> I was like, what does it mean? I don't know. Santa Claus? I, I, like, I don't know. We're not talking about Christmas. We weren't talking about anything. I believe it was just after a, a pretty long silence. Uh-huh. She broke the silence with that truth bomb. And what did you say? I said. Did you just laugh? I probably just laughed for like 20 minutes and said, I think so. Do you so. believe in milk and cookies? Do you believe in milk and cookies? There's a NYX lip color I love called tea and cookies. And every time I use it, I think of that. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah. I, she was on All Stars for what? Two, three episodes? Iconic. Iconic. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, And even with Farrah, like it was just great because she's so... Um, Produced and uh, Ferris so kind of raw, and but that was that storyline was just so there's nothing fucking magnetic, fucking fear. There's a few things. Gina going, I was so bored after that performance. <laughs> Girl, soak what? Up? Girl, soak that, up that, that, that sponge sweat in your for, the sweating her forehead. That also, um, when um, <laughs> Fair goes like you're insecure, and Gina goes, Oh, mom, I'm very secure. Are you secure? <laughs> just like that's the perfect uh, reality TV um, strategy. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Yes, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Also, well, there's room for everyone. Let's just say that. Um, <sighs> what privilege? Everything. Everything. What you want to do is not necessarily what, what you're, you're going to do. do. Ah! At, on the on the on the PG fridge. fridge. <laughs> At our management company, they're on the fridge. What you want to eat is not necessarily what, what you're, you're going to eat. eat. In parentheses, you fat fucking bitch. Yes, and it's helpful, and it applies to everything and nothing. Yeah. Do you believe in milk and cookies? That Abs will pop into my head anytime. Because I don't know what it Exactly. What it, it's, yeah, it's like one of the, it's a zen koan. It's yeah. a riddle that's supposed to, uh, meant to provoke enlightenment. She's an icon. Yeah. I just get excited every time I see her. I mean, she's very exciting. She's very exciting. Do you think it... Um, we have talked about Gia Gun for 20 minutes. <laughs> and before that, we talked about Vanity for about five. So Are we chasers? <laughs> oh. We're chasing the dolls. We're, we're drag chasers. Are we... Race chasers. Are Dolly... Paul, Dolly Amorous? Dolly oh, Amorous? Do, do, oh, th that's the other good Gia Dolly one. Dolly Amorous. When Gia was saying, um, is the person attracted to... Drag queens, trans women, yeah. cross-dressers, et cetera. She goes, does Did he worship, worship the dolls? <laughs> I love it. Well, and I still use it. Yeah, and it is particularly apt to worship the dolls because often men, I would say men or, you know, anybody really who is um, on that track, they're on it. They're on they're to different types in. too. Yes, definitely. But they are... They have a singular kind of focus when it comes to securing the bag of the doll. Do you know what I mean? In a bag, in the trunk. Yes. Like, uh, they will chase you down the highway. They will oh, stop yeah. at nothing. We They're talked Liam about it. and take uh, take Mary, or whatever. I used to leave the club and that car would pull up in yeah. tinted windows and roll the yeah. window down this much. Yeah. Which is hey, very helpful. Here. Oh, sure. No. <laughs> no. Oh, since I don't choose murder today. Thank you. <laughs> I, I know. Me, my dumb ass would be like, well, he sounds kind of cute. If I wanted to roll the dice, I'd go down to Potawatomi and play craps. The what? Potawatomi Casino in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh. That's you where- Y'all have casinos? Oh, yeah, because it's uh, part uh, oh, reservation uh, there. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So they have casinos and it would be like uh, Oneida, Potawatomi, all of them. And a lot of the gays will go out and the bar closed. They go to Pato. We're going to Pato. We're going to Pato. We're going to lose some money. Oh, but they're going to Pato. Do you play? Do you ever do that Never. gamble? Mary, I'd rather Never. just throw my money in the trash. Mary. Just throw it in the trash. Or and go, shop. Whoa. Yeah. I'd rather buy bubbly yeah. bounce for my fridge. Yeah. Or I th shopping, you go to bubbly bounce. When you think of shopping. But that's a luxury. It, Carbonated flavored water with caffeine in it. Okay. That's not, they're not giving that out at, at relief centers. <laughs> Do you know so what I mean? I'm glad that you are still very much salt of the earth. <laughs> well, when I splurge, I buy bottled water. What the fuck do you buy? I'm sorry. A dragon? <laughs> I know. Brandon went shopping for me today and I was like, Brandon, I want to try that bubbly bounce. I want to be bad. That's me being like wild <laughs> with my money. Yeah, you are. Uh, oh God, she's decadent. She got uh, fizzy soda. <laughs> well, no, I have changed a little because now I'm obsessed with Nordstrom. Okay. I just asked David today. It. I said, if we get married, can we get married at Nordstrom? At the cafe. You don't have to get... <laughs> can we get married at Nordstrom Cafe? That's the trashiest thing ever. That's literally the definition of trash. You should get registered at Nordy's. At once a day, I turn to David and I go, why don't you buy me anything from Nordstrom? <laughs> and he's like, this bit you're doing is not funny. It's not a bit. I it's said, for the honeymoon, play. I want you to take me shopping at Nordstrom. A big one. <laughs> a 
big Nordies. <laughs> Would you do a Nordies rack? Mm. No, it's got to be the. It's gotta Although be I've heard good things, I've never been. I love. Is it like Nordies. TJ Maxx? Mm, it's like a upmarket TJ Maxx. <laughs> yeah. If you have found something good at Nordstrom, let us know in the comments or on Twitter. And do you love Nordies? Do you love the rack? Yeah, the, the rack. If you found a good thing, well, the rack. I love the rack, Mama. The rack. The rack. The rack, the rack is good. It's like TGI, um, not TGI Fridays. Um, TJ Maxx. Yeah. But well, I read these men's health magazine articles about being more European and owning far less clothing, but only nice clothing. Yes, yes, yes. Quality, so now I'm interested in being like, if you have one pair of blue jeans, yeah. you don't need four. Well, you don't because if you have one pair of nice blue jeans, they'll last forever. Right. Forever. Um, so I've been trying to like, eh, if I haven't worn it, let it go. Okay. Like I have a stack of drag race shirts. It doesn't yeah. mean I need to keep all of them. We're thrifting. Do you thrift? Uh, do you pass? I used to, oh giveaway. Yeah, oh, we give donate away. everything. We don't throw them away. No, 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 no. I mean, like, do you um, uh, what's it called? Up steel. Up, up, I know. <laughs> what's it called? Upcycling or recycling or? Oh, like like going thrift shopping? No, like when you. What does upcycle mean? Upcycle means um, I'm not going to throw away this planter. I'm going to turn it into a brush cup. Like you're just using it for something oh, else. Oh, okay. I think okay. right. Is that upcycling? Upcycling. So oh, God. I don't remember. But anyways, what the what is upcycling? You can like um, uh, what is it? Okay, it just says cycling. What is upcycling? It's known as a creative reuse. It's the process of transforming byproducts, waste materials, useless or unwanted products into new materials. Yeah. Okay, upcycle. Okay, so like I upcycled my jokes into better uh, a new show. It, yeah, if you turned your Altoids tin into a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've done. Well, that's the great too. Yeah, waste not, want not. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like, um, especially boy stuff. I want to have it all in um, one closet. Yeah, they were saying in, in men's health, they were saying like, uh, live like James Bond. Like if you had to take your whole in one thing in a suitcase yeah. tomorrow, you could. What would be in that suitcase for you? Well, they were saying like you really need one dark denim. Yep. And a pair of like uh, neutral blue or, or green the chinos. Okay. Blue or green? Like an olive. Okay. They were saying yeah, olive yeah. chinos are deceptively the most uh, like universal type of pant. I guess. Okay. I don't olive know about chinos. chinos in general. I don't have I'm any. Mama, I'm not I'm not trying to do that. Chino. But I want to get into the chinos. Well, we're getting, I mean, I'm that age now. Well, that's I should have problem. eschewed jeans altogether. And now I'm just wearing bald. chinos. Yeah. <laughs> so chinos on me, 24 what? hour photo. What? With Robin 20? Williams in 24 hour photo. <laughs> Is he a serial killer in that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like past that. It's like a, a step beyond. Dilbert, Philbert. Um, uh, uh, so you think I look worse than Robin Williams playing an old serial killer? Great. Um, and they also said uh, you need like a, a denim jacket and then like a, a like a black bomber jacket, something to wear with both. Okay. They said like a pair of like white sneakers, like yeah. more casual, yeah. and then a pair of like black leather sneakers because yeah. that can be dressy. Oh, uh, okay. But and then dress shoes as well. Uh, I think they said one dress shoot up, like, 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 yeah. Okay. And then they said like, you know, a few different t-shirts, a thong, (laughs) a thong panty and a wig, a clown wig. (laughs) I have so many socks and so many underwears that I have a hard time throwing them away. I recently had to do the purge where I went, if it doesn't have a sister sock, it's going. Oh yeah. And for underwear, I'm not, I'm 31. Some of my underwear I've had since probably college. And I was like. We gotta let it go, but it was in good shape. Yeah. There's okay. no holes in it. Are you sure? The elastic was good. That brown. Don't crust yell at me. <laughs> the brown crust. It's is not sort like of gonna just... wash it. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I'm not gonna be villainized for using it. You know, what? maybe it's a country thing. Like, use it until it's yeah, brown and crusty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you... I can't wear socks two days in a row, but I could wear underpants more than one day in a row. Do, See, do you? That, no. See, that's what you just said is wrong. Me washing and keeping underwear for 10 years is not weird. No, 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 no. Living in underwear? No, not living. I'm saying one time. So Monday to Tuesday, it could happen. Socks could not happen. That's why I have so many socks. Do you know what I mean? Okay, but Monday to Tuesday is one day. Yes, that's what I meant. Socks is one day. I'm I'm saying that wearing a pair of socks or a pair of underwear for two days in a row can only happen with underwear for me. Yeah, I mean, out of necessity. Yeah. I I can't put on a crunchy sock. Oh, I don't no. sweat at all. No, I mean I'm. My talking, feet Mama. are idling at kiddie pool. It is hair mer time. Yeah, hair wet time. wet feet, wet feet. But also, here's the thing: I scrape them with the uh, the 
the cheese grater in the shower every day, every time I shower. And they're ha- they have an ability to turn over skin that I think is like they're making up for something. Or do you know what I mean? Like they're, Are you an they're in debt. Yeah. My secret talent or my superpower is just having extremely. Maybe we need to learn to make things out of your foot skin the way people make things out of bamboo because it grows so fast and it's renewable. It's a natural resource. That is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That like pretty soon I'll be like, I love that ashtray. Thank you. Thank you. Foot Thank skin. <laughs> Which speaking of. My gay uncle's foot skin. <laughs> Which speaking of, you left American spirits in a lighter out here oh, and they've just been God. sitting here. Well, I know. It's it's like planting bombs around the city. But two people have come over and gone, are you smoking now? I said, who do you think that is? <laughs> they were like, she smokes American spirits. They were, they were like. Did you think I smoke menthol Newports? Well, no, Newport. like for you, that's turning a new leaf. Oh, yeah, because it is a safe cigarette. Yeah, it's turning over. <laughs> which, by the way, uh, turning over a new leaf. A tobacco It's leaf. the same leaf. What does that mean? Oh, it's because it's a different side. T- turning over a new leaf. I don't know what that means. I'm turning over a new leaf. Mary, that's the same leaf. That's the same leaf. Somebody you're, on the pit stop said yourself. that, I think, and I was like, oh, my God. You're fooling yourself. You know what else? Somebody said on the pit stop that blew what? my mind. Heidi said, everybody always says, I don't want to send her home because I want to beat the best. If you send her home, you did beat the best. Isn't that That's a gag? True. Also, enough with the um, enough with the enough with the the what do you call it? This uh, skittish drag. The, <laughs> yeah, but enough with the like. I did 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 Be Gina Gum. Be Gina. Be Naomi That's, Smalls. Yes, be Naomi. Be ruthless. Be calculated. Most of all, be entertaining. Mary, look her right in the eye and say, "I sent you home because I was afraid if you stayed, you would win, and I want to win." There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's the television show everybody's trying to make. Do you know what I mean? And that's the competition you're trying to win. Are you enjoying All Stars this season? I am I'm not watching it. I, uh, you have to. Unfairly advantage, yeah. yes. Do you love it? I mean, listen, I'll tell you what I did. I paid 10 fucking dollars for Paramount Plus so that I could watch Laganja uh, jump from a split <laughs> or jump into a split from the ceiling. And that's all I've watched so far. Oh, the Laganja lip sync was fucking it lit. It was great. Lit. Lit. I mean, it's funny that like, you know, sorry, World Wonder, but like they kind of destroyed her for her her black scent and her her verbiage and her vocab and then proceeded to use it and mine it for jokes and laughs and content for the subsequent seasons on that show. Yeah. And then invited her back as if nothing had ever happened. I mean, listen. Listen, <laughs> the thoughts and feelings of Katya Zemolochka yeah, are not, not mine. Yeah. and do not reflect the values of, of Trixie Mattel <laughs> LLC as a whole. Yeah. The views expressed by this garbage person do not necessarily reflect. But you know what I mean, though? Is that, should I we cut that? No, I think uh, Laganja, it was like joyous seeing her on Drag Race in yes. a way where she was like, I love Complicit. myself. I'm comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm here to do what I do extremely well. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'll say this, Trinity was the lip syncer, right? It was against Trinity. Trinity K. Bonet, yeah. She gave her a fight, bitch. She did. Through that four inch. I would have laid down. That and taken a short nap. No, Trinity's a fabulous lip syncer though. If anybody's like, you know, gonna go against Laganja, it should be her. No, I'm saying at my level, oh. I would have been like, Do you need me on spotlight? Yeah, should I um I can collect tips for you? Sarge, take a break. I'll work the camera. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Water, spritz. Yeah. yeah, I'll be the spritz girl. Kind of stack of money and just throw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I Didn't mean, they ask you to come back and be a lip sync assassin? They sure fucking did. Tell the story. I was in um, I don't know, I think I was on tour, so I would have had to like fly and whatever. And I said, um, a lip sync what now? Assassin? I don't believe that I qualify for that role, having been someone lied to the her victim several times. Of a lip sync attack <laughs> many times. Four. Four times. And I was like, okay. I would go if I was guaranteed to win. I don't know that they can do that or will do that. You know what I mean? I just don't want to go make a fool out of myself. Would you ever compete again? No, no, I would not. I would neither. I would not compete again. There's, I, it's not. The dolls are the dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what Gina meant. She was a foreshadowing. At this point. That the, the dolls, dolls are, are the dolls. dolls. I mean, that's, uh, you know, that is actually very like heavy and wise at the same time because she's right in a way she is it's a it's a big deep field to compete in and if you haven't already snatched something good luck to you yeah do you agree that the dolls well i think everyone's like drag's hotter than ever i'm like there are 45 million people in wigs right now drag is a concept yeah maybe hot but the drag uh gold mine for individual earners skinnier and prettier than you willing to do it for free now in less than that yeah 
willing to luck. actively conspiring against you in whatever. Yeah. Once you're dead. Yeah. Well, at this point, shit. Well, the pod is the pod. The pod. <laughs> the pod is the pod. Do you want to? I know you're going to want to wrap up and have a cigarette before we work on our next book. Yes. I don't know if we're, have we announced our book. Are we allowed to say? Oh well, it was the one year anniversary apparently of our first book. Yeah. Really? Yeah, book anniversary. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to grab day before. it? It's on the bookshelf. Grab it. Sure. Sorry, I guess I could have got up if I would have known it was going to be a presentation. The whole bookshelf comes down. Could you imagine? I get really worried about that bookshelf because it is a lot of stuff on it right now. Earthquake, mama. Earthquake. Yeah. The big one. It's spooky. Isn't it you who says we're due for the big one? We are. It's not. It's a fact, though. I have what does that mean? Myself. So it, it when you if you uh, catalog the movement of the plates uh -huh. and you kind of like predict the next kind of big one, it's going to happen. We're due for the big within one. our lifetime. Northridge, you hear that? I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, I love Nordies. Nordies. Yeah. I love that picture. I love it. I think that um it's still on sales on Amazon. Um New York Times bestseller, honey. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I kind of feel like we're not given our due credit for how beautiful and, cr and amazing we look in this book. Tell them. I think that as the creator uh of this content, I feel slighted by your lack of engagement with the product. Also, first people in wigs to have a New York Times bestseller. Everybody can eat my shit. RuPaul, the anchor, dead, <laughs> bald, forgotten, death irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, death, death to all, to of, all them. of them. How about yeah. that TikTok star, <laughs> Mary? This can't be. This 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 show will become the Wendy Williams recap show. Absolutely, the Wendy Williams ap apologist hour. The, yeah. the I mean, does anybody know who that is? Anyway, he was murdered. What? After two minutes of talking about how I don't know anything about TikTok, this guy has more TikTok followers. I don't know Instagram. My brother, da, 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 whimsical, ridiculous. Da, da, da. He was murdered this weekend, nineteen years old. It wasn't even funny. It was like it was shocking. Oh I was like, gosh, Wendy, why did you do that? Why did you? Why did you have what that crazy that was, setup? Jeez, death doll. But David was say I was talking about getting a COVID again and I don't have COVID but David was like there's been zero hospitalizations from people who are vaccinated so if you get it it won't be that bad and I go death to none of them <laughs> <laughs> death to none of them but yeah people aren't going to the hospital for COVID if they're vaccinated no they're they're what are they doing just languishing at home they're sick and they're not hospitalized they I they want recover. the lambda variant the gay one the lambda variant there's like you know the delta there's the Kappa. I want There's Delta, the but I want Sky Priority. <laughs> I want priority boarding. I want Delta One. I want the Lambda legal variant. So I want to be gay and have all my... I want, I want an attorney who's going to represent me in the hospital court. Well, I guess that's the pod. Um, get the 40... Was it 42 bucks or something? Less than that. Much what, 20, less. 27-ish, uh, probably. Let's look it up on Amazon. But we do... Um, if you can, uh, buy it from the publisher and not from Amazon. Yes, buy it from the. Oh, we also Jeff many, Bezos does not need any more money. Honey. Pretty much every local bookstore stocks it. I've seen it everywhere. Barnes and Noble has it. A lot of pictures in here, beautiful ones. Beautiful photos. Some of my favorite yeah. pictures of me ever taken are in there. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one of me in the decluttering chapter where I'm the covering jewelry. jewelry. It's so beautiful. Albert Sanchez. Just, I mean, I can't believe we get photographed by that person. I, I can't believe it either. He's done like the the greats in the Dita Von Teases, the RuPaul's, and then he will he will stoop to our level. Well, you know, I'm obsessed with Michelle Branch. I was on her Instagram the other day and she posted an old picture of her from when she was like 20. She was like, Albert Sanchez took this. And I sent it to him and be like, did you take this? He goes, yeah. I fucking love that picture. Oh, God, so gorgeous. Good. And this is only about $14 in jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.